What's up guys, it's Edward with Crypto University. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about combining different signals and indicators that you can use on your chart in order to understand the bigger picture of technical analysis. So if this video is a little bit hard to understand, you might have to go check out some of the other videos in our trading course. This one we're gonna be talking about the exponential moving averages, the relative strength index, the MACD indicator, and the average directional index. So the format of this video is going to look a little funny. I'm not going to be able to fit it to the regular 16 by 9 that most of you are going to be viewing this on. So there's going to be some black edges around the side. But it's because I have to include a lot in this video. So I wanted to make sure it captured everything. Here we have the EMA cross. I'm using the 9 and 26, the 50 and the 100. We could put the 200 moving average on here if we wanted to. I'm going to go ahead and leave it out, however. We have the relative strength index, we have the MACD, and we have the average directional index. So we have talked about what each of these indicators do in separate videos. Basically the exponential moving average tells you the given average of a price over a specified period of time. So the 9 is the consolidated information over the past 9 days, 26 over the past 26 days, 50, 50 days, 100, 100 days. The relative strength index in short tells you if an asset is oversold or over purchased, meaning expensive or cheap down here. The MACD is the moving average convergence divergence indicator. So basically these inputs are going to be similar to this. This is the histogram. Basically if you flip over the histogram up top, you're looking at a bullish or uptrend. If you flip the histogram on the bottom, you're looking at a bearish or downtrend. You have your MACD line and your signal line. Basically, if the MACD line is over the signal line, you're looking at an uptrend. And if the MACD line is underneath the signal line, you're looking at a downtrend. Your average directional index does not necessarily constitute an uptrend if it's going up. It just means that this is the trend momentum. So as the average directional index is moving up, you're gaining trend strength, and as it falls down, you're losing trend strength. So going up is gaining momentum for the trend, and going down is losing momentum for the trend. And again, we have different videos that break these each down into their own categories with further details. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into this now. We're going to magnify this area of downward price action here. So as you can see, when the candlesticks stray far away from the 9 EMA, we have the necessity for a rebound, right? Price cannot stray too far away from any of these lines without at some point rebounding and coming back. So here we see when the price has strayed far away from the 9 EMA, this is our first line of dynamic support or resistance. In this scenario, it's a downtrend as all the EMAs are facing downward and traveling in a downward direction. So this signifies a downtrend. Now as the candlesticks stray far away from the 9 EMA, which is the first line of resistance, right? Price gets far away here and eventually snaps back, gets far away, snaps back, gets far away, snaps back, and then it crosses. So once it crosses the EMA, then you will look to use that 9 as support. Right, and it, here it faces resistance along the 26 EMA, travels along, and uses the next 50 EMA as dynamic resistance. So then it pops back below, and as it strays too far away from the 9, it eventually snaps back. So now we'll take that and use the RSI as another form of confirmation. So here you can see the RSI was displaying very cheap. At this point in time, the asset was very cheap to buy. Uh, and you can confirm that with the EMA and the RSI. So basically, whenever the RSI shows that it is cheap, you have a good buying opportunity. It's presented here, it's also cheap, then price goes up. As price comes back down, it's presented cheap again, and you have a small profitable window here. As price comes back down, it's presented cheap again, so forth and so forth. Now moving to the next indicator here on the MACD, you'll see that 
prices very far away from the median of the histogram, right? And as it bubbles out here, you can see it comes back and gives you some price recovery. As the histogram peaks out down here, you'll see that it has to go back towards the median at some point. And once it crosses, that is actually a trend reversal signal. So here you can see that where the MACD crosses, it also crosses the 9 EMA. If you go straight up from this line here, the price action crosses the EMA and turns to an uptrend for a short time, also reflected by the histogram here before it peaks out and must come back down. So here, if you're looking at the signals, this would not exactly constitute a good time to buy as this is showing a valid downtrend. Here we have a cross in the MACD, which is usually a good sign of a trend reversal. And once again, this goes directly up to where the EMA crosses the nine, which is also two confirmations, right? The RSI shows it's relatively cheap and the MACD is crossing here now. So these are two confirmations. The third confirmation is that it crosses the EMA Fourth confirmation is that it crosses the histogram. So we have four confirmations here that this is a good opportunity to buy. It's not just about looking at one indicator and jumping straight into a trade. You have to first form your idea and then use indicators to confirm or deny your idea. Okay, so the ADX is a little bit confusing, isn't it? So back here we see that this was an area where price is about to rally. So here there is no trend identified, right? This trend is very weak here. And right here you can see that the ADX or average directional index is picking up. So if we look at that in this chart, here the EMAs are consolidated. The EMAs are all very close together and there is no sign of a strong trend. Now the ADX starts to pick up. So that means that this trend is gaining momentum, right? So now we see that the trend in fact did take a sharp downtrend. And here we see that the trend is losing momentum as it's peaked out. So this is a very tall line and this starts to slope over, right? So this is indicative that our trend is losing strength. So looking at this indicator alone, you wouldn't have been able to tell that this was the perfect buy time, but you can see that our trend is losing strength. Now here it peaks out and says, okay, the downtrend is losing strength as the trend momentum depreciates. So here you could see reflected, this is the peak of the trend and as it starts to go down, you see that the downtrend loses its strength and turns to a short uptrend for a small period of time. So here is a confirmation that the downtrend is ending and reversing. So here is a fifth confirmation. We have one confirmation by the ADX losing strength. We have a second confirmation by the MACD crossing. We have a third confirmation by the histogram flipping. We have a fourth confirmation by the RSI being less than 30 or an oversold or cheap range. And then we finally have our last confirmation as the price candles flip the EMA. They will now use it for support as a short time. So that is a little bit about how you can find a good opportunity. And that was just one opportunity that we have here. I'll fast forward a little bit so we can check some other confirmations. So again here, this is a strong trend. As you can see, the ADX is moving up or gaining strength. And here the downtrend is very strong. So as you can see here, the downtrend loses strength. So we look for a trend reversal. Right above that, we have the MACD crossing. Right above that, we have the histogram flipping. Right above that, we have the RSI at a low point in price. So this is considered cheap. And then finally, again, we have candlesticks crossing the EMA. So here you can see it actually glides along the EMA very nicely and uses it as support all the way through up until the 100 EMA. So you could have got in here with these confirmations. All these confirmations tell you that this is a great time to buy. So if you're trying to enter here, you would say, okay, well, the histogram looks like it's lowering. So that's not exactly a confirmation. The signal line still shows a valid uptrend, so that's not too bad. The RSI is approaching an overbought region or an expensive region. So you're not really finding too many indicators here as the ADX looks like it could be gaining some more momentum for to support an uptrend here, but ultimately the bigger picture would show a downtrend. If you connect these two points, 
that is a downtrend in momentum so it shows that we are still losing momentum so this is not a good indicator or not many confirmations that this is a good entry here you could see plenty of confirmations all right on top of each other up and down in a straight line plenty of confirmations here you don't have as many confirmations so you have to look for these areas of confirmations now let's fast forward to where we are currently so we can see here let's go ahead and zoom this so we can see here recently there were a great a couple of great confirmations again we see the ADX has peaked out so this downtrend here right here is the bottom of the ADX top of a trend so now we have a downtrend we can tell it's a downtrend because price is bouncing off the 9 EMA repeatedly. We can tell it's a downtrend because the RSI is weakening, approaching an oversold region or a cheap region. We can tell it's a downtrend because the histogram is at the top and decreasing. We can tell it's a downtrend because there's a cross right here. And we can tell it's a downtrend because the average directional index is supporting a gain in trend momentum. So again, this is an amazing confirmation uh, just right before us that we could have been able to take a short opportunity along here. Now, this was a good confirmation of an uptrend. We could see price was oversold. Price was far away from the EMA, it crosses it. Here we flip the histogram. Here the MACD signals cross. And here this previous downtrend has lost its strength. So now this trend has lost its strength. So we could see that we were able to take right here based off of this since the trend just the downtrend lost its strength we could take a long position here based off of this direct information right in front of us we don't have any great opportunities before us so this looks like it can gain strength but in what direction we don't know yet it could continue because this is a valid downtrend line right if you draw a trend line here this is a valid downtrend line so based off of this information that is displayed right before us currently we are using the 100 EMA as resistance now you do have a signal cross from the EMA which means that we could be looking for an uptrend but right now the 50 EMA is still below the 100 EMA so this is still considered a downtrend this gives us a downtrend the RSI looks to be a downtrend the histogram is flipping to the bottom so your signals are crossing after an uptrend which means we're looking at a downtrend the MACD histogram is flipping the bottom which means we could see more of this action down here underneath the median so if this trend were to continue and gain strength to support this downtrend we could expect to see a downtrend here so that is how you use multiple indicators to look for multiple confirmations instead of just looking at the chart and jumping into a trade willy-nilly I hope that was helpful good luck in your trades